don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cops 360 here and we've got some massive news. Now pretty much Nvidia at the Japanese GPU technology conference went out and they unveiled Pascal. Now in case you guys didn't already know, Pascal is Nvidia's next generation of graphics architecture for the next generation of GPUs. Now pretty much Pascal is going to be based on the 16 nanometer FinFET process made by the boys at TSMC. Now of course in the past there was a lot of talk on whether TSMC would be ready uh, to produce these 16 nanometer chips or whether uh, Nvidia would be going with uh, Global Foundries but pretty much it's confirmed we're going with TSMC here and they will be providing the chips for Pascal. Now of course getting more in depth into the chip it's going to be providing 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, which will provide an effective memory bandwidth of in excess of one terabyte a second. That is absolutely insane. Repeat, one terabyte a second of memory bandwidth. That is some really, really good shit. And of course, the GPU will be available in dual GPU configurations, where we will be, where we will, sorry, be seeing at least two terabyte a second uh, worth of uh, effective memory bandwidth. I mean, that is really, really good. That is very, very fast. Now, of course, you guys may be asking, Cobbs, man, when is this chip going to drop? When are the new uh, Pascal cards going to drop? Well, apparently, according to the source, we will be seeing them in the first half of 2016. Now, do mind, do keep in mind that AMD is also coming out with the Arctic Islands chips, and of course, they are supposedly on HBM2 as well. Now, when I talk about Arctic Islands, Arctic Islands is an entire series and I believe Greenland is the flagship so we're going to be seeing um, whatever NVIDIA code names their flagship uh, you know card uh, against Greenland or Arctic Islands versus Pascal and of course not all of the Pascal GPUs or not all of the Arctic Islands GPUs will be on HBM2 now I might be confusing you guys here because I'm not actually sure if Pascal is the code name for the flagship or you know the first few cards kind of like you know like GK 110 or whatever or if Pascal is the name of the entire architecture I'm not really sure it should be in the entire architecture kind of like Kepler Maxwell and whatnot so yeah I don't think Nvidia code names the flagships like AMD does but look getting back to the point getting away from all the fuckery this should be some good stuff it looks like 2016 is going to be a very competitive year for GPUs. I mean, look, guys, one terabyte a second of bandwidth. That's some very, very fast memory, man. Some very fast memory. We're going to be seeing some huge performance increases. This isn't going to be like AMD with the Fury and the Fury X and whatnot, where they were kind of still limited by four gigabytes of VRAM with HBM. Um, this is going to be, it's going to be different. It's not going to be like a massive improvement, of course, but it's going to be significant. Um, and just all in all, we're seeing just, it's going to be a great future, man. I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. We're seeing both companies dropping, you know, the size of the manufacturing process down to 14 slash 16 nanometers. We're seeing HBM2 come into play. We're going to be seeing GDDR5X come into play. HBM1, just standard HBM1, probably on the lower and flagship cards and yeah it's just gonna be good and of course that was an oxymoron you can't have a lower end flagship card that makes no sense but anyway let's leave that out um pretty much guys just comment down below tell me what you think and this is gonna be a very very good year for gpus and even cpus man i can't wait for 2016 thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and look the big k we'll see you later